we're going to walk through the ProPresenter interface so that you can understand how to utilize it and customize it to meet your needs. The first part of the interface that you'll probably see is the ProPresenter Information Center with helpful links and information. I'm going to close that out to get to the rest of our interface, but if you ever need to get back to it, we can always click on the Pro logo to show the Information Center. Now I'm going to click on a slide and this is going to show on our output, but you also see that we have a preview of our output and it shows exactly what's on our output at any time so you can click with confidence. But not only can you have a preview of what your output is, you can also have a preview of your stage display. So if you've enabled stage display, you can click on this option to toggle stage display preview. And now we can see a preview of exactly what's on our stage display at any time. And we can also switch back and we'll see exactly what our slides are. So as we click, we see exactly what's on our output. Now I'm going to click on a video and it's going to start to play back and below our preview you'll notice we have playback control so I can pause this video, I can fast forward, I have time indication on how much is remaining in the video. This preview area is also resizable so I can scale this up and move these bars over and it will scale up my preview area and make it larger or I can scale it back down to make it a little bit smaller. Now below our preview area we have our library which contains all of the documents that we can use inside playlists. And we can easily search to find different documents and we have some settings that we can set for our library. So we can filter our entire library to show all documents or different types of documents. We can also say do we want to show detailed rows and we can include song select results right in our search of our library. Now below our library is our playlist area which contains all of our different playlists with all of the items that we need for that event or service. Now if we want to create any new documents or new playlists we can hit the add icon here and this will allow us to create new documents, new playlists, new group folders, new planning center online playlists, and new headers inside of our different playlists. We also have an option to go to a playlist only view, which helps simplify the interface and remove distractions so we only see the current playlist we're using, which is really helpful when you have volunteers running ProPresenter. Now let's move over to our document. So we can actually view our document here and to navigate the document we can click on any slide we'd like. We can use the space bar to go to our next slide or we can use the left and right arrow keys to switch between slides. The up and down arrow keys will switch you between items in your playlist. At the top of each document, we'll see some different information here. So first we have our information icon that shows us all the different information about this song. We can add chord charts. We can change what category this is in. So we'll switch this to a song and we can even add notes in for this song. Then over here, you'll see a few different options. The first one that we'll look at is a transition option where we can set a transition for just this document or this song. Next to that we have a timeline option where we can automate the playback of our slides. Next to that we have an arrangement button which will show us our arrangements and allow us to add new arrangements of our song. And then we have a timer section where we can add timer cues to all of our different slides. So if this was maybe a slideshow of images and we wanted each one to play after one second, we could click the one second icon and it's going to add a one second timer to every single slide and they will automatically go to the next one. If we want to remove them all, we can just hit remove all. Now right now we can only see one document in this view, but if we head back over to our playlist and click on the contiguous button, this is going to show us every item inside of our playlist. And we can alter how we view this with some options down here. So we can change the thumbnail size, we also can switch from to table view or thumbnail view, and we can have slides by group which will show all of our sections of our song or groups of a document together. Now over here you'll see some transition options. One for our video and image bin, so how are our video and images like foregrounds and backgrounds going to transition, how long and what transition are they using, and then for our slides, how are they going to transition and how long will it take. 
Now we can look at our video and image bin by clicking on the button and that will show our bin and we can look through at all of our foreground and backgrounds and our different tags and hot folders. Anything that we've set up in there we can view right here and to hide that we can just click on the video and image bin button. Now at the top here you'll see our main toolbar with all of our different buttons that we have available. We have a clear all button that clears everything that's on your screen. Now if we had a background playing with some lyrics on top of it, we could use our clear slide button just to clear the slide and we can use the clear background to clear our motion background that's running behind it. We also have a new button to create new documents. We have an editor button that will bring us into the editor so we can edit our song or our slides. Again, we have the video and image button that we looked at earlier. We have the audio button that opens up our audio bin and playlists. Next to that, we have uh, Bibles that will open up our scripture options. And then we have the Renewed Vision Media Store where we can buy new content. And we have our social media button that will bring us to our social media area. And then we have our template options here where we can apply different templates to our lyrics a format toolbar that we can show at any time to change the formatting of the document we're currently on. And then we have an option here to toggle our output on and off. So if I had our uh, stuff shown here and I toggle our output on, you'll see it pops up here. And if I toggle it back off or click the X in the corner, it's going to hide it. And then we have a volume option for just inside ProPresenter. We can change the volume inside the program. Now we can customize this toolbar by right clicking and clicking customize toolbar. You'll see that there's a lot of different options here that aren't in the toolbar by default. So we can add things like message and timers, props, clocks, our web browser, anything that we want we can add this to our toolbar. So let's say I wanted to add my messages and timers, I can add that right here or I can slide that over or maybe I want to move my editor button over, I can slide that wherever I want so I can customize the interface to be exactly the way that I want it. I also have an option down here to change the look of it. So do I want it to be icons and text? Icons only, text only, or we can go back to our original of icon and text.